Hey guys, hope everyone doing well. Let us see how to use the new at for syntax to render the array of elements in Angular 17. I have created Angular 17 project and in the app component, I have declared array of users. I am going to render them in the app component HTML. We use the ng for directive to render the array of elements, right? Even in Angular 17 also we can use it. So now let us first implement that one. And so user and ng so open. So now here we can see there is an error or warning. So what it is saying ng5 directive was used in the template but neither the ng4 directive nor the common module was imported so use angular's built-in control flow at fur or make sure that you either or make sure that either the ng4 directive or common module is included in the component right component imports so here let's go to app component and let me import the common model so import if you have the app model, we can import in the app model itself. Now I just created this project, so I haven't created any model. So here, common model is there. So now it works and we can see the result at the right hand side, right? Before we seeing how to use the at for syntax, uh, let us talk about something that we already know. Like generally we need index, right? Index of element to do some operations or to do apply some styles or something like and also first last element sometimes we need to apply some styling or if we conditionally we need to do something so for that what we do let i equal to index so we used to do like this right so like let's say i'm using this separator that pipeline just a separator we can use anything and here i say like i right so we can see 0 1 2 index right and also if you want to know whether this uh, particular user is the first user or last user we can simply say let uh, f equal to and if you say first is first user f so is first user true and the remaining you can see false 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 now let us use the at for syntax just to remove this and i'm going to remove this now and let it be and maybe i can remove this also it's common model so we don't require this common model because we are going to use the at for right so come here and here i'm going to say at for as soon as you enter it's going to complete the you know uh, template for you that uh, you know see it completed and here instead of items we can simply use users right because we have users not items and then it should work okay so we have user here so let instead of item use user and then what you have to do we have to keep it inside these curly brackets so this is like almost this is same as like uh, for right for how we use in typescript for the same way we are using it here so so just uh, cut this and inside this curly brackets just to paste it and it's going to work so, so it is so cool right like it is like you are going to write this like for like uh, instead of star ng for and we are going to use this one and you don't need to import the common model and it works it is now it is like built in uh, and here also here you can see the track by this dollar index this nothing but the index that we used to get it right in the star uh, ng for directive so here we can say now use the separator and you can use anything like as i said earlier so i'm just using that and here i will say dollar index and now we are going to see 0 1 2 and uh, again same a so is this first user and here we can say dollar first so now we are going to get whether it is first user or not first user true and the remaining false the same way we can get even last also we can get now right
this is about basic uses of add for in uh, angular 17 and if you are already used it please do comment and also if you have any problems implementing it please do comment and uh, yeah thank you for supporting me and uh, i know it's been while since i made a video like because of some personal reasons and uh, now i got my laptop and i hope i will be doing uh, more videos thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me